Do you have the bell? Thank you for calling Arby's. This is Kara speaking. Hello, this is Wasted Memory from the corporate office with Arby's. Okay. Um, do you have the bell there for people to ring? We do, yes. Okay, great, because we've got some reports that the frequency is off a little bit. We need to make sure that it is on on frequency, you know, like it's it's uh, ringing at the right tone because uh, um, the wrong... Cause it, I it, think it, it did break and they had to rehang it back up so it isn't dinging and working like it should. Yeah, cause, like they get a little bent because the people ring them too hard and then it does this tone that like enrages people. <laughs> enrages people, woo. Well, <laughs> we you don't know, want not, that. yeah, yeah, <laughs> like that, that's not good. Right. Yeah, it is. it is. It's a little beat up. It's fallen. It actually, the string broke on it. It fell on the ground oh, once. No. So it's been well, dented up and beat for sure. Can it be rung right now? I need to hear up what, it, what um, the tone yeah, is. Yeah, let me I've go out and I'll ring it for you. I've got a frequency counter set up. I'm going to check out how many hertz it's ringing at. All right. Yeah, I can do that for you. Um, you need to ring it repeatedly, like over and over, just like constantly for about a minute so I can get a good reading. All right, just tell me when to stop ringing it. All right, do it as loud as you can. All right. It, that's coming in at about 1900 hertz uh that's that's uh can you just ring it like maybe a little bit harder yeah give me just a second she's taking an order really quick are there and as soon as she's done with that order i can do it again it's good <laughs> are there customers in there i'm not in the store no she's overhead oh, taking man. an order is the inside open no we just closed ah fuck Yep, we just closed the lobby and uh, drive throughs open for about another 45 minutes. If you could ring it at about 2600 hertz, we could get a free phone call. Get a free phone call? Yeah. Because <laughs> it was coming in at not, about 1900 hertz. All right, but that, that, that's like the, the enraging frequency. That's going to that's gonna piss off everyone. It's probably going to like just give you a bad night. Oh, no, we don't want that. I'll make no. the vibes in here good. It's okay. I'm happy and cheerful. <laughs> okay. All right. You good, Aaron? Am I okay to do it again? I know. Are you good? Can I do it? Are you good? Wait, don't even okay. worry about her. Just do it. Fuck her. Okay. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. All right. So what? So... How's that? Can you squeeze the bell in your in your hands and like make it? Because we got to change the the frequency of it. Like hold the bell in my hand? Yeah, no, like like squeeze it, like 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 it's like your hands are a vice. Like squeeze it into shape. Squeeze it, so because you know people are ruining it. Squeeze it, squeeze it about. Uh, uh, how many PSIs of pressure waste of memory? I don't know. Oh, we need at least 45 PSIs. Okay. 32 to yeah. 45. Yeah, don't go above 45, though. That's crazy. This is madness. Okay. After pe yeah. Do you just want me to grab it and ring it really hard? Well, well we need you to... Like, can you put it on the ground and, like, stomp on it? <laughs> Squeeze it, I cannot please. take it down, actually. Uh, can you... Do you need to put 40, 45 pounds of pressure on it and then just ring the hell out of it? Run Squeeze at it. it, like from across the room, run at it really fast, and squish your boobs into it. Just headbutt it. <laughs> oh no, yeah, I'm not going to do that. But, oh, yeah, just do the boob thing. Come on, headbutting's crazy. I don't know. We, we just, I'm not going to do that. She might change, have to the shape, change the shape of it. 
She might have to put some fries in there, up in it, to make it a little more dense, you know? If you use the curly fries, it might make a different tone. Yeah, we shove could, some curly could. fries into it, like, stuff them up in there and... The, the, the heat will, uh, you know, make the metal expand. The heat and the oils will, like, form the curvature to the bell. Because they're curly fries, they're not straight fries. We could do the reset, the button in the back by the switches, to change it. The heat will change the molecular structure of the bell. <laughs> yeah, you guys might want to call back tomorrow when the GM's here. Okay, we're not even from the corporate office, we're just fucking with you. Oh my god. We love you though. <laughs> you rang that bell for a long time. Yeah, that was yeah. fun. That was a lot of you're, fun. Hey. you're a good lady. Broadcasting from the PLA Situation Room in Roy, New Mexico. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. Now it's time on Prank Call Nation. Cactus. 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 Playing game. Cactus. 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 I'm not supposed to be doing this. Cactus. 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 This cocksucker. Cactus. 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 You've got to be crap on my balls. Cactus. 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 Be a fuck job to edit. Cactus. 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 You're calling me a hobo. Cactus. 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 You don't make a house a pool. Cactus. 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 How about if I come down and punch your head off? Cactus. 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 You blowing smoke up my ass. Cactus. 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 You think a tracer can stop me? This is episode 544 of the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, RBCP, and this one's brought to you by F and Reality, B.I. Eber for Life, Edvard G, Carol Gertie 666, and JT. Those are the sponsors of today's show. Thanks for supporting the show, all five of you. And of course, thank you to the new people who have signed up recently, like Nan T, Stonehouse, Duncan B, Mad Skills, Pete S, Breaking K Fabi, Tristan F, Axel R, Tyler R, D Low Dog, and Corey P. Thank I pronounced half of those wrong. Thanks, everyone, for signing up over at patreon.com slash phone losers. That opening call that you heard today before the intro was from Wasted Memories show from earlier this week. I was on there for a little bit, and Wasted was doing this hilarious thing where he's calling up Arby's and getting them to ring the bell. A lot of Arby's, they have this bell by the door as you're leaving, and if you enjoyed your meal, you ring the bell, and the people at the counter are required to say thank you. It's kind of silly. It's just a bell with the rope hanging out of it. You grab the rope and you ding it a couple times as you're walking out. If you want to be really irritating, you ding it for a couple of minutes. But as far as I know, this whole bell ringing thing started on Wasted Memory show. I think Wasted Memory said that he didn't come up with it. Somebody else did. Maybe it was Dragon Mirror. I don't remember. And I'm too lazy to ask around and figure out who it was. But somebody came up with the idea of having Arby's employees ring the bell. And that was my first attempt at having an Arby's employee ring the bell. And I did a whole hobo soda on that earlier this week, or I guess technically last week. Today is Sunday. And I actually posted one of the calls from the hobo soda on YouTube. I'll put a link to that in the show notes because I got an employee to ring the bell for one minute and five seconds, which I think is currently the world record for Arby's employee bell ringing. And Justin from The Justin Show, he's been doing it too. Dwight did a little bit of it on his show on Saturday night. I kind of hope some other people do it as well. Thank you, Wasted Memory, for introducing us all to bell ringing at Arby's. You can find Wasted Memory Show over at Mixler.com slash Wasted Memory. It's a fun show to listen to. He usually does it at least once a week. I don't have any news. I don't have any announcements other than Chicago Meetup in September. Giad is calling it HoboCon 2019. And according to the Facebook page, 32 people are definitely going. Wasted Memory is going to be there. Casey Jones, Buster Casey, Jag TV, Parkman, Gloria, Matt Hillock, uh, Dwight, Jack, Heliquin, Giad, Ben Kilburn. Ben, you're not going to be there, are you? From Australia? I don't believe you. I'll believe you when I see you there. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of people there. Should be a good time. And I'll put a link to that event Facebook page in the show notes on snowplowshow.com. Oh, and I think the venue might be changing. I don't remember if I mentioned that before, but there's some talk about changing where it's going to be held at. Try to make it if you can. Let's get started with today's show. 
with your new official Ice-T phone line. This is Ice-T, and I'm just cooling out waiting on you to call me on the Ice Hotline. Here's your chance to connect to Ice-T. Call 1-900-909-1100. Push that button. Dial it now. Come on, call me up and chill out with me on the phone for a few minutes. $2 the first minute, 45 cents each extra minute. Be sure to ask your parents permission. It's Dev. The new Ice-T phone line. Yo, make that call. Call 1-900-909-1100. Ice-T is waiting now. I'm going to call some numbers from a list that I used last week on April 1st. This is a list that Nathan sent to me, and I think I'm going to make some calls from a helicopter. Hello? Hello, Vinston? Not yet. Hold on. Okay. Hello? Hello, Vinston? Speaking. Oh, hey there. Uh, this is Roy. I'm a helicopter pilot. I'm, I'm flying above your house right now. Okay. And I'm going to be uh, lowering a, um, a hook, kind of like a, it's a grappling hook claw type thing. We're going to pick up one of your trees out of the ground. What tree? Uh, just one of them, just one at random. Don't worry, we won't drop it or anything. We're just going to pick up a tree. Uh, why? Uh, just, just uh, you know, no, no reason exactly. Uh, we're just trying out this new hook we got. No, we don't want to be doing that like that now. Yeah, but, no, it, it'll just take a minute. It won't hurt anything, and we'll just lay it back down really softly. You've got a lot of trees there. Oh, wh where are you at now? Uh, we're way up, way up high. It's going to be hard to see us. We're lowering, lowering the hook on a really long cable, and uh, we're using a telephoto lens to see what we're doing. It's just a training exercise. What? We're just going to pick up one tree. And hey, where are you from? We're gonna rip it out of the ground. I'm, I'm a, no, 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 no. I'm a helicopter pilot. For what company? Royco. Royco. Yeah, yeah. But I just wanted. I didn't want you to be worried if you saw one of your trees being lifted up into the sky. We're just gonna. No, you don't have the right to do that. I, uh, it's not really legal. Well, I, I think. I mean, the trees don't really, really belong to you, do they? Who do they belong to? I don't know, God. I mean, they're they're just they're they're they probably been there. They probably been there uh -huh. lo longer than you have, right? Not necessarily. But we'll pick an old one that's been there for longer than you. No, 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 no. It doesn't work quite like that. Yeah, we're just gonna pick up one tree. You've got a lot. No, I I just told you it doesn't quite work like that. Well, I mean, we're already getting ready to. So just just don't worry about it, okay? No, 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 no. It doesn't quite work like that. What doesn't work like that? That you could just come fuck up a, a person's tree. Uh, this is a little bit indifferent. Well, I'm not fucking it up. It, like, you've got a bunch of trees. Oh, okay. Uh, I have a bunch of trees. Yeah, I'll just, I'll take one what from is, the middle. What is the longitude and latitude of uh, the tree you're talking about picking up? Well, I, hell if I know, man. I, I'm not a computer. I, I just, we're just, we'll just pick up one from the middle, though. Like, so you, you won't even notice it's gone. No, let's don't do that. But there, it, there's going to be, you know, we're going to pull the roots out of the ground. So you're going to notice a big hole there in, in the middle of the forest right by your house? No, no, let's don't do that. You don't own all the forest, do you? There's a lot of trees around here. What's your large, longitude and latitude is? Why? What do you need that for? I don't have to give you that. Pardon me? I don't have to give you that. We're right above your house, though, on... on Oh, and you're just gonna pick up a tree, yeah, it's and a, move it, 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 and you can't, and you won't give me your longitude and latitude. Yeah, it's a new hook we got. We want to test it out. We just want to see if it works. Go test, go test it out someplace else. Yeah. No, no, I like we already picked your house. Go, go test it out someplace else. No, we're picking up a tree in your yard. I don't think so. Uh, well, well how are you gonna stop us? I don't think so. H how are you gonna stop us though? Okay. Hey, what? There are a lot of legal ways for for people doing stuff. You just come along and pick up a tree. Okay. That, that didn't answer my question. Look, it doesn't matter. I just didn't want you to be concerned. So just just so you know, I, I we're am gonna, very I am very concerned. We're gonna pick up a tree. We're just gonna pick it up, just test this thing out, and then we'll let it back down. We'll, tr we'll oh, try. Oh no. We'll no. try. We'll try to set it up right. No, no, no. Back in the hole in the ground nope. that we rip it from. Nope. But and then I'm going to be left with 
no, that doesn't even make sense. It'll be the same thing. Like, just put some dirt around it. It'll probably just keep growing. No, thank you. We're not, we're not participating. Well, okay? no, you, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to participate. Just, no, I just, I just said we're not participating. Just, just stay out of the way. Okay, thank you. Just stay out of the way, okay, thank while you. we pick up the tree. Nope. They're, 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 I keep telling you that's not the way it works. I'm doing okay. it. I'm going to okay. do it. Here it comes. <laughs> you guys should see this guy's property. He has so many trees. He's not going to notice if just one is gone. He's really being unreasonable. Hello? Hello, is Richard there? Sorry, he's not. Can I take a message? Uh, do you know when he'll be back? Uh, I'm, this is Roy. I'm a helicopter pilot. Okay. I'm, we're just, we're flying above your house right now. Um, I just, okay. well, I guess I can tell you, we, we're, we're going to pick up one of your trees. You're going to pick up one of my trees? Yeah, with a hook. We, we're lowering a hook down. We're going to pick up one of your trees. But just stay out of the yard for a minute. Um, we're just going to pull it out of the ground and uh, we'll, we'll set it back down. We're just testing out this new hook. Okay. That's it's Roy in a helicopter going to pick up a tree with a hook? Yes, that's correct. I don't know anything about this. Will somebody order a tree to be picked up? Oh, no, no, we're just testing it out. We got a new, a new uh, hook <laughs> for the helicopter, so we're just testing it. <laughs> that sounds like a great plan, Roy. <laughs> yep. This April Fool's joke. <laughs> no, April Fool's was a week ago. <laughs> well, I think you probably need a permit for that or something. Uh, no, it's cool. We're, we're just going to do it. So, um, just, like, don't be concerned if you see the tree being lifted out of the ground. Uh, Roy, I don't think you've got permission to do that, so... Okay, well, no, I wasn't asking for permission. I'm, I'm just calling to let you know. You know the big tree, uh, out front? No, I don't know what tree. Well, it's, it's out front. No, I don't have a big tree out front. Oh, is that your neighbor's tree? I don't know what tree you're talking about. I don't know. It's hard to tell from up here, like, which, which yard it's in. But, you um, have to figure that one out first. Yep. We're going to be picking up your tree, though. <laughs> no, you're not going to be picking up my tree. Well, maybe it's your neighbor's tree. Just, just uh, you know, just, just don't go out in the yard for a minute. We're, it's just going to take a few minutes. Uh, I guess she doesn't care since it's her neighbor's tree and not her tree. It's going to hang up on me. Hello? Hello, Herman. Uh-huh. It, it's Roy. I'm a helicopter pilot. I'm uh, above your house right now. Uh-huh. And I needed to let you know we're going to be picking up one of your trees with a... We're testing out a new hook. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm glad you told me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want you to be concerned if you see a tree being lifted out of the ground, being ripped out of the ground. Okay, anything particularly wrong with it or anything? Oh, no, nothing like that. We're just, uh, we got a new hook for the helicopter. We're just, we just uh -huh. want to, we just want to try this out, pulling a tree out of the ground. Oh, oh, okay then. All right, no problem. Okay, so just, uh, you know, maybe stay out of the yard for the next, uh, few minutes while we rip this out of the ground. Okay. And All right, is it over there where they, uh, cut out? Is that where it is? Uh, it's going to be right by your house. The one right, really close to your house. It's a pretty big one. Oh, oh, oh okay. Because we want to see how much Alrighty. how much weight this can handle. Oh, oh, okay. So we're, right. just, we're basically going to rip it out of the ground, and then we'll we'll set it gently down on the lawn and let it go. Oh, okay. So, and then we'll be out of here, okay? All right, then. All, All right. right. As long as it's not in the yard. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean in the yard? Uh, in my yard. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be the one in your yard, right by the house. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're wait a minute. professionals. Oh, no. We're not going to drop it on the house or anything crazy. We're, we're just going to set it gently on the lawn. Okay. Well, now, uh, what tree is it going to be? Because my wife's a little funny. Is she? What do you mean? <laughs> About her trees. I mean, how close is it going to be? Uh, it's the one right by the house. We could, we, it, it, uh, it overhangs the house a little bit. Oh, I don't know about that. That's... Uh... Right by the house? Yeah, like in the back. You know, in the backyard. So it's not a big deal. Uh-huh. 
It's the big uh, one. I'm a little shaky on that one now. Yeah, no, we'll be careful. We're, we're professionals at this. Uh, what insurance cover, uh, coverage do you have just in case something goes wrong? Because uh, there's a power line going to a utility light in the backyard. Uh, no, we'll be really oh. careful. We're, we're going to, like, this is a very precise new instrument we got. It's going to just pick it right up and set it down gently. Uh, who's doing this? Uh, it's going to be Chad. Chad's, uh, I'm the, I'm the pilot and Chad's, uh, the one operating the, the hook. Uh, hold on, let me speak to my wife no, we're just gonna, about we're just her gonna... moving this thing. Now, we got a tree that I was going to cut back, but I don't think she wants it down. Uh, Chad, come here a minute. Uh, is it a pine tree, a oak tree, can you tell? Uh, no, it's hard to tell from up here in the air. But, yeah, we're just going to rip it right out of the ground. Roots and all. Well, that's be, what I'm afraid of. There's going to be a big there hole there. lines buried here. There are lines buried here. Oh, no, it'll be fine. Uh, can you choose another tree? Uh, do you want us the to get the little one in front? In front? Yeah. We don't have any in front. Oh, uh, maybe it's a little bush type thing. We can just pick the bush up and we'll set it down. But we really wanted to do a big tree. You know, just well, test, I test tell out you the what. If you will go, I think it might be sunrise again. If you go east of my yard where you see clean no, there's a wooded area there you can pick up there. That's, that's too close to the house and I got lines buried. Well, we wanted to do something. Beard. We wanted to do something in your yard. Um, what about? Are those cars back there yours? There's a couple cars. Uh, no, that's not mine. Uh, call them over there, cause uh, I don't want any of these removed. Well, can we pick up your car out of your driveway? <laughs> no. Uh -uh. No, no but, sir. No, it's not going to scratch it. We're just going to pick up your no, car. And we'll no, set no, it. no, no. I'm, I'm sorry. No, we'll, <laughs> that we'll, will happen. We'll set it back down really gently. No, I'm sorry. Uh -uh. <laughs> no, it, it's cool. Uh -uh. It's like I no. Chad knows what he's doing. He's a professional. No, I'm sorry. Uh, there's a day, a half day tree in the back you can get slightly off the property, but no, nothing on my property. I'm sorry. Uh, I will be taking pictures. No, don't come over my yard. Okay. Well, no, I'm we just, we just want to do the car then. Just let us do the car. Uh, come on. No, I'm sorry. Please. Hey, you got the wrong number here. What, the wrong number? It's not the wrong number. I, I know. I like how he said his wife was funny. He's a little funny. I want to find someone that has a swimming pool so I can scoop a bunch of water out of their swimming pool. But so far, everyone that's had a swimming pool, they've not answered their phone. Hello? Hello, Paula? Yes. Hey, uh, this is Roy. I'm a helicopter pilot. I'm, I'm uh, flying a helicopter above your house right now. Okay. Uh, we're going to be picking up one of your cars out of the driveway. Uh, we've got this specialized attachment that's going to lower down on a cable. And we're just going to pick up your <laughs> car for a minute. <gasps> oh. So you're not going anywhere. You. You're not going anywhere, right? No, 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 no. Okay, all right. Well, just, uh, you know, stay out of the driveway for a few minutes. We're going to pick up your car. <laughs> You, you I could, hope nobody's sitting in it. Well, no, don't Who look. is that? This is Roy. I'm a helicopter pilot. I'm, we're, we're, yeah, I don't believe that. We're circling the top of your house right now. All right, I don't hear anything. We're way up there. We're lowering the cable. Chad's lowering the cable. Uh, ah, yeah. yep. And the purpose of your call? Uh, just to uh, let you know, I just didn't want you to be concerned if you saw your car being lifted. It's just, we're just testing out this new hook we got. I don't think she's believing it. She's trying to figure out how I'm trying to scam her, I think. Hello? Hello, Sarah? Uh-huh. Hey there, it's it's uh, Roy. I'm a helicopter pilot. I'm um, flying above your house right now. They're on Cyprus. Are you flying above my house? Yeah. Uh, I need uh -huh. to let, I, I want to let you know we're going to be uh, lowering a hook here in a minute. We're going to try and pick up some of your lawn furniture. Okay, you can go ahead and get it. Okay, yeah, th just don't worry about it. Like, don't be sitting out there, though, because we don't want to pick you up. Okay, I'll make sure I'm not sitting there. You oh. go ahead and get what you need. What's that? 
You go ahead and get whatever you need. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna bring it up here to the helicopter, and um, okay. we probably won't be able to bring it back down. We don't have enough fuel for that. Well, that'll be fine. You just keep it as long as you need it. Just a chair, you know. That's right. That's right. Get 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 both chairs and a little ottoman there if you need it. Okay. Thank you so much. You're so nice. Thank uh, you. Uh huh. Thank you. Uh huh. Goodbye. What a friendly little town. Hello. Hello, Lillian. Yes. Hey there. Uh, this is Roy. I'm a helicopter pilot. I'm flying above your house right now. Uh huh. Um, you know that pool, you know that pool you have out there? Yes. We're we're gonna lower down a scoop and we're gonna scoop some water out of it. And find some Gen X. <laughs> What's that? And look for some Gen X. Genetics? No, Gen X. Oh, Gen X. Okay, I don't know what that means, but there's water in the pool, right? Yes, but they, they listen. There's a cover on that pool. Oh, well, the scoop will probably just knock it off of there. We're just going to scoop some water out. It's for, uh, it's for, for it's for fighting forest fires. Like, like, we got this new scoop that lets us scoop water out of pools. Like, if there's, oh. if there's ever a forest fire, we can just scoop water out of pools. Okay, but you don't have one now, do you? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're flying above your house right now. We're going to lower it down, and we're going to try and... You're, ex you're experimenting. Yeah, yeah, we're just testing it out, just making sure it works. Okay. The scoop will probably just go right through that cover. We'll just chomp right through it. Okay. So you're not, I mean, nobody's using the pool right now, I guess, right? I don't see anyone. No. Either. Okay, yeah, we're just going to scoop out all the water. It's probably going to get most of the water out of there. Whoa. Yep, yep, there won't be any water in it. There'll probably be like less than a foot left after we're done. Just don't damage my pool. Oh, we won't. We won't damage the pool. We're just going to take all the water. We're gonna, okay. We're going to airlift the water up and dump it into the forest. All right. Wouldn't it be better for you to go right there at the river? Uh, no, because we have to, we have to, you know, we have to practice. We have to learn how to get it out of people's pools in case we're not near the river. Cause what, what if there's oh. a, what if there's a fire right out back? We got to take all your water and fight the fire. Okay. Yep. Yep. So we're just gonna take all the water out of your pool. All right. Then if there's some damage to my pool, who do I see? Ah, uh, I don't know. Like, call your insurance company, I guess, or, or just call a pool fixer. Uh. We'll be careful though. Okay. Yep, yep. But, um, yeah, you're going to want to refill that pool. But there's a pool without a cover. Right down by the lodge. Yeah, I don't, we're just going to use yours. I don't know that I want you to mess up my pool now. Oh, we're not going to mess it up. We're just going to take all the water out of it. We're not taking any responsibility for it. No, we're, we're, we're going to be very careful. Chad's working the crane, so he, he knows what he's doing. He's done this before. He's just going to scoop all of the water out of your pool, and then we're going to dump it in the trees behind your house. Or, I hear you. or if you want, we could dump it on your car, so your car would get a free car wash. No, I don't want that chlorine on my car. <laughs> no, no, it'll make it clean, though. That, that chlorine will eat right through the dirt. It might eat right through something else. <laughs> nah, nah, you're being paranoid. Don't be silly. Uh, chlorine, it, it could react with the materials and then cause it to rust. Nah, it'll probably rain soon and wash all the chlorine off. No, 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 I'm a, I'm a chemistry teacher too. Oh, okay. Well, you know what you're talking about then. We won't, we won't do that then. We'll just take all the water okay. out of your pool and we'll, we'll dump it on the trees behind your house. That's what we'll do. I, I wish it'd go to another pool. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll uh, we'll dump it in. Maybe we'll take water out of someone else's pool and we'll dump it into your pool. That would be all right because it would run over. That would cause no harm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. So there's we'll, a two-story. There's a two-story house just before you get to the lot. Uh huh. It has a pool with no cover. Oh yeah, I think I see that one. It's right over there. 
Yeah, that was be- that's better than involving mine as a couple on it. Oh, no, we'll do yours first, and then we'll take the... No, you go, pra- you go practice with that one. Yeah, yeah, we want to practice on yours, and then we'll, once we're really good at this, we'll do it with someone else, else, else's. Uh, we're going to be... Okay. Out- practice on his, and when you finish... Yeah, you come back, and when you get real good at it, you can practice all mine. But then you won't have any water in your pool. We only do two of these. I don't, I want my water. Yeah, Water's we'll, expensive. Yeah, we'll take all the water out of your pool and fill up his pool if we do his first. No, 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 no. You just go right ahead on and do his pool. All right. That should give you a just practice. We're going to do yours you then. You go right to the river and get water and put it back in his pool. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. We'll, we'll get river water and we'll put it in your pool. No, 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 in his pool. No, yours. He, he, he's uh, disabled. He's disabled? Yes. Why do you want to take his water then? That's mean. That's like a hate crime. He can't swim. Uh, how often do you use the pool? Say what? How often do you use the pool? Oh, uh, my children use it all the time. Oh, but not right now, right? No, you know we not we're down here and we don't have heated pools. Yeah, yeah. So okay, yeah. Anyway, we gotta hurry up. We're running out of fuel. I'm gonna take all the water water out of your pool in just a minute. Uh, you go to that pool that has no cover and get the water. Yeah, no, I'm gonna use yours. No, no, no. Oh, no, I've already decided. We, we, we've no, got the, I've decided for you. No, no, no. We've got the coordinates locked on. Locked on to your there's pool. A pot, there's, there's a little pond to the right of my house. We're, we're low. In that, get, get the fish in the water. We're lower in the scoop right now. Well, no, we might kill fish then. We don't want to kill any fish. But we'll, <sighs> dr- we'll take the water out of your pool and drop it into the fish pond. No, no, the pond should be full. We've had an abundance of water this year. Yeah, but we're going to overflow it with chlorine. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I got to I gotta get going. we got to hurry up and do this. It's getting dark. All right, go ahead and do that pool that has no cover. No, we're going to do yours. Okay, bye. Bye. I cannot tell if she believed me or... If she knew I was full of crap, Lillian was kind of hard to read. But yay, I finally got to do my pool call. I didn't think I was going to get to do that one. It's just too bad she was kind of agreeable about the whole thing. Didn't care that much. It looks like that's the last person I can get to answer, so I can finally turn off this helicopter sound. And this dumb voice thing. I think I have a headache now. Before I end the show today, though, I think I need to do at least one more Arby's prank. Because I haven't done those on a snowplow show yet. I've only done those on the hobo sode. In fact, I think before I try one, I'm going to play a small clip from Justin's show last night. Justin does a show on Mixler. I'll put a link to that in the show notes if you ever want to listen to him. He does about, like, seven shows per day. I get so many notifications. But I'm going to scroll through last night's show and find one of his bell calls. Okay, just, I'm... Because he had some fun last night with that. We're at the bell. Okay, just go ahead and just give it one ding. Ding. Gosh, Jesus Christ. Speaking of having a headache. Okay, now I can, I can hear some sort of obstruction from on top of the bell. Is there anything holding the bell and keeping it from ringing how it's supposed to be ringing? No. Okay, will you take a look at the bell on top? Yeah, I am. Okay, great. Now, will you push the bell from side to side and make sure it's... Does it move back and forth? <laughs> I don't know what he's going no. for here. It does not move back and forth. Only the only the ball inside does, correct? Yeah. Okay, now take the ball and hit it again real hard one time. All right, turn your volumes down. That's as good as you can do. That didn't sound like a really good ding. It was. It, do it again. One more time. Another good ding. That was a good ding. Oh, that was- See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, when we want to ding the bell, we're talking about dinging the Arby's bell. You know what I mean? Awesome. Okay. So now what I'm going to need you to do is go back and forth. Go ding, 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 ding. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> what the hell okay. are you doing, Justin? Counting it out. Okay. Here, go. Hey, 
Hey, that was only seven times you needed to go ding, 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 ding. Count it out, Justin. Okay. Oh, my. Do it. Oh, so right here is where you can hear her talking shit about Justin to somebody else. Where are they calling it fucking whatever o'clock? What's your problem, man? That was pretty good. She sounds so annoyed. You guys did good that time. Okay. Now what I would like you to do now, okay, is just sit there and ring it as long as you can until your arm starts hurting, okay? Yeah, we may need to get you guys a new bell. I can't tell whether it's defective or not, so you need to keep ringing it, okay? Yeah. I can't even see it anymore. There she is complaining again. Keep ringing the bell, yeah. ma'am. <laughs> oh my god, this is hurting my ears. Like, she knows he's full of crap. You gotta keep going longer than that. I can't tell if but it's a good or not. She just keeps Bell. doing it. We, get, we might need to ship you out a new one, okay? Hey, um, could you call back in the morning and talk to Lisa? No, ma'am. Is there another lower associate that's working there with you? you yeah, I think that's about where it ends. I don't think she rings the bell anymore after that. She just gets annoyed and hangs up on him. That was from the Justin show last night, though. You can find his show on Mixler by going to Mixler.com slash... Justin, but without the I, and then two dashes, and then the number two. It's a very easy to remember URL that Justin has for his show. But I'll go ahead and put a link to it in the show notes anyway. I'm going to try an Arby's call, though, before we end today's show. Start playing some voicemails. Thank you for calling Arby's. This is Brittany. Hey, Brittany. This is Roy from the corporate office with Arby's. Okay. And, um... What was that noise I just heard in the background? Oh, um, I'm certified. Somebody, somebody's sitting at the computer getting certified for the red hat and stuff. Oh, and okay. I was right in front of the computer. <laughs> oh, I, I thought it was the bell. I'm, I'm actually calling about the bell by the front door. I, I hear yours is the, the yours is the tone is a little off on yours. The pitch. Are there are bell that you rings the tones off? Yeah, yeah, the ones that the customers ring. Okay. Um. I didn't know that, but okay. Oh, I, I guess uh, they, they, the corporate, they like it to be at a certain frequency. Um, is there any way you can go over there real quick? We just need oh, to... no problem. Uh, I've got some gotcha. equi equipment hooked up to the phone. We're going to see what frequency it's ringing at. Okay, one moment. Okay. Let me know when you're ready, okay? Oh, okay. I'm ready when you are. Do you just want me to ring it like once or a few times? Uh, actually, I, I need a continuous ring for about two minutes. So ring it for two minutes with everybody in here? Okay, okay. One moment, okay? Okay, thank you so much. You guys, okay. I apologize, but I have to ring this bell. It's spoken on the phone, and I need to ring this bell for two minutes. I have to ring this because I guess the only thing we hear is it's on my ear. I guess I call Okay, so I had to let the customers know what I was doing. So oh, okay, okay that's me. a good idea. Are there a okay, lot of people? one moment. Are there a lot of people uh, in there? Well, there's a few families. It's okay, I just let them know. Okay. Two minutes straight, right? Yep, yep. Ready, okay, set, okay. go.
to mention it? Oh no, you're just 15 seconds short. I guess we're gonna have to start over. Uh, let's do let's do uh, 20 minutes though. I can't do 20 minutes. Oh no, you can do it. It's fine. I'm from the corporate office. It's fine. Are you sure? 20 minutes? I have to stand here ringing. It, it doesn't want to ring right. I know. That's. The, I think we're gonna have to replace it. It sounds terrible. So I have to do it for 20 minutes. Yeah, maybe you can uh, do it in shifts. Of how long? Shifts of what? I, uh, you know, whatever you want to do, whenever your arm gets tired, just whistle for, well, I mean, don't whistle too loud, it'll throw the equipment, it'll throw the equipment okay, off. are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay, it's just, that, it's just that right now, I've only got, I've got, okay, I have, I'm, it's me plus three people, and I have one on the computer doing training, and there's, you know I mean, and so that only leaves, I leave a spot open over here, like, I, I'm not fully staffed right now. Oh, I see. Can you ask a customer to ring it for 20 minutes? I, I don't a, think a customer's going to be here for 20 minutes. I heard a little kid in the background. I bet you a little kid okay, would love to... Okay, you want me to have a little kid do it? Yeah. Okay, let me ask. I don't have to be crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm trying to talk a little kid into it. Oh, okay. How old is he or she? How old are you, bud? He's six. Oh, cool. He's going to love this. Tell him to do He's it for an hour. Have, get him to do it for Sorry, an hour. Sorry, your mom's too. Have I'll him. Take, I don't know. I've never got this. I feel like I'm being pranked. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you are, actually. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm, I'm really the corporate office. Oh, I was like, no way. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to take turns. Okay, so I'm going to pay attention to the timer on the phone. Oh man, yeah. I, I I can't I can't I I'm really you know what I have a headache. I don't think I can handle this. I'm just gonna let you know that this is not really the corporate office. It's just a prank. I'm just a prank caller. Oh my, oh my god, it really is a prank call. But I wanted to hear a little kid <laughs> ring the bell for a while. I don't know, but that was hilarious because I really thought that I really thought this was a prank from the gate. But I was like, I have, we have customers in here. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping there'd be more, and they'd get really angry and yell at you a bunch. No, there, you're lucky there wasn't. Uh, <laughs> darn it. That probably would have up. <laughs> I'll call during the lunch rush next time. Hi, bud. We don't need your help. You can ring it if you want, though. Oh, How can, he, now? Can, can he ring it, though, anyway? Can you have him just ring it just for here, fun? Here, ring the bell, buddy. There you go. Uh, tell him to do it louder. Tell no, he can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I had to talk him into doing it anyways. Oh, wow. What a weird kid. <laughs> oh my god, that was such a good one, though. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm glad you're not mad with me. Hey, just so you know I that... Know that shit was, no, that that huh? bell is that bell is re ringing at a frequency of seventeen hundred hertz. I looked at it on the computer. I think you do need to get it replaced. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Just, okay, have a good one. All right, you too. Bye. Bye. Wow, what a good sport! And she was actually going to sit there and do it for twenty minutes. I am convinced that we can easily surpass the lunk alarm records with this. I think Dwight was the record holder for the lunk alarms. Dwight, you need to get in on this. You need to become the record holder for the Arby's bell ringing. Here, let me look at the waveform, see how long she rang it for. It looks like I got one minute and 39 seconds. I beat my own record tonight with just one single phone call. So that's the new world record for Arby's bell ringing, one minute and 39 seconds. Congratulations to me. And a huge thanks goes out to the Arby's girl who was the most understanding recipient of all time. That bell really did sound like crap, though, didn't it? Hey, Brad, it's Moon calling you from a payphone in Lansing like Community College. Hey. Only 50 cents for 15 minutes. What a great deal. Wow. Um, try calling the payphone. They have their phone number written on here, 517-483-5221. Yeah. Anyway. That's all right. Good work. And I, I, don't, I don't want to, but thanks for calling me from a payphone. Sounded great. Very good quality. You can tell that they take care of that one. Roar! Whoa. Thank you for everything you do. Oh. You're but welcome. I have a question. I thought I was in trouble. I do want to help you, but I'm scared to really give my credit information. Yeah, yeah, I don't blame and you. I guess some other people could feel the same way. Can you have an answer for that? No, no. And I appreciate all everything you do. I, I wouldn't support me either. I am a felon with a history of stealing. And I really wish I could help you. It's okay. But I'm scared. I understand. Because, you know how bad it is. Yeah. See what you could say about this. It's bad out there. When I listen again. And I guess other people's got to feel this. You got to have some people feeling the same way I do. Probably. So Probably why I'm not huge. See what you 
to answer to this. If, uh, you know, if it's safe to do so. Okay. All right. All right. And again, thank you for everything you do. You're welcome. Really, though, you know Patreon doesn't give me your credit card numbers or whatever you use to pay with. They wouldn't do that. They know better. They know about me. Hey, Brad. It's not not Brad. Hey, not not Brad. You know, I've been hearing so many people complain about how uh, the phonelosers.org page sucks and that you should get rid of it. Well, they need to shut the fuck up and uh, leave it alone. Yeah, just don't go to site. it. You're, you're not allowed to take it down, Brad. Okay. No. I'm not going to. Bye, Brad. Who needs it anyway, though? We've got snowplowshow.com. Or if you hate that website, too, there's the Patreon. Just only go to the Patreon. It's all the same stuff. Who goes to websites anyway? Just set up the show downloads in your podcast app. You never have to look at the ugly website again. They just come to your phone automatically like magic. Oi, Brad. Hey. Tap water. Hey. Uh, next time somebody says, who do you think you are? Just go, Mr. Big Stuff. Do, 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 do. You're never going to get too far. Mr. Big Stuff. That's That's what I'll do. Who do you think you are? I'm gonna write that big down. Stuff, big stuff. That's what I'm doing. I just want that song. Yeah. I've been listening to a lot of soul music lately. It's so great song. Popped in my mind. All right, Cactus. Hello. Hello. I just want to ask you, how was your day? It's great. And how was your day? Why are we whispering? I don't say the last short. What are you doing? I made that. I, it was like two or one years ago. Weirdo. I made that did I send to you and I never thought the future did now. Speak up. I just want to thank you for that. You're welcome. The question of Didn't understand the question of the day. What you said. Did you ever watch a show called My Name is Earl Earl on NBC? Why yes I did. Just a general question. Okay. It's an old show from like 2005. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Okay, bye. All right, bye. Okay, bye. That that call was left at 12:35 in the morning on a Thursday night, so I think maybe he was trying to be quiet so he didn't get grounded. But yeah, I loved My Name Is Earl. That's a great show, especially the first season. It kind of got a little weird as it went on, but the first season was just perfect. Everybody should watch My Name Is Earl. Yo, Brad, it's your boy, the press mashed potatoes again. Hello. Back at it again. I That's just want to say Cactus, and I had an idea. I've okay. been binge-watching, well, binge-listening, I guess you should say, your uh, snowplow shows. So, I was thinking, you know when you switch over, Carol? I mean, of course you do. You've been doing this for years. Yes, I but do. But when someone asks for Carol's uh, supervisor, you should put on, like, a really deep voice. I've been listening to tons of episodes, and I haven't heard you do that at all yet. I've done that. All right. I love you. I have. Bye. If I go two supervisors deep. I always talk in this voice. I've got it programmed in here. I've got Carol and I got the robot. And I've got the deep voice. There's three presets on this thing. And I've done that at least once. I don't do it a lot. I'm sure it'll happen again eventually. Hey, Brad. This is F in Reality with an F in Original. Hey, F in Reality. There's a girl that we all know is Carol. Until Brad caught her and trained her, she was feral. Her legs are so bitchin' from all that work in the kitchen. When I hear her voice, my chest goes blamsy. And only PLA and Richard Pardo know that she used to be John Benet Ramsey. I love you, Carol. Brad, Aww. you're awesome. What a great poem. Thanks, F in Reality. All right. Hey. Rupert Monkey Boy here. Hey, Rupert. Uh, say, can you uh, clap my ear a couple of times? It's actually a sleep call right now. I'm fast asleep. You're fast asleep? Okay. I'm going to clap, clap in front uh, of your face. Anyway, Roy, we got a uh, what we call Supercon coming up here in Raleigh, close by where I live. Yep. A lot of has been celebrities, uh, the things that do to play MacGyver. I'm going what? there, a few office characters, I think Ron Perlman or whatever the hell his name is. And, uh, uh, oh, yes, the, the fucking vampire from Fright Night. I missed the first part. I'm not sure what you're talking about. You're going to an event where all these people are? I'm going there for him, man, all day. Oh, but uh, anyway, okay. what that's leading up to is, uh, you know, you're having all these little social get-togethers. I get you're a West Coast guy and all, but, uh, you know, we could definitely use a little, you know, PLA con in Raleigh. Why can't y'all come to this Tar Heel State? Yeah, that'd you be know, nice. You uh, know, probably 35, 40% of your listeners, uh... 
unprovenly are from North Carolina. That's Why true. Show us some love, huh, Roy? Okay. All right. Huh? It might be. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Break out. Break out. It might be like another three years, you know, because I have to get all my travel approved when I leave the state of Oregon. But I would definitely like to do that. I'd like to go to the Hope Conference next year. I'm going to try and make that happen. That's in New York City, which is pretty much right next door to Rally, right? You can just drive up to New York real quick. But yeah, I'll be out on the, the East Coast again one of these years. I promise. Hopefully before you get bored with me, because I want to meet Ruprecht someday. That sounds fun. Hello, Brad. It is Micro Corgi. Hey, Micro Corgi. Hey, a Corgi. quick note about the show you did with the bell. Although I guess not all of you would know that. It's a hobo show, you hobos. Yeah, well, except I gave it away for free. Or not really. I just gave away one call on YouTube. The uh, two tones you're getting, it's probably overtones for the bell. Because anything that has a fundamental frequency is also going to vibrate at its overtones. Ooh. And if it has a fundamental frequency of like the 24... Look at the big brain on Micro Corgi. It hurts or whatever it was. It'll have an overtone of 1,200. It's okay. all like one half, one third, one fourth. There's some magic stuff. I don't know a lot about it, but that's probably what it is. It's not two sides of a bell. It all vibrates the same. Okay. But I just sent all you a right. list today. With a whole bunch of... Oh, no. You're, you're fading out. So you're fading you out. Get that on the air soon. Maybe even in a hobo show to convince all of these hobos to pay you money. Yeah. All right. Have a good night, Brad. Thanks, Micro Corgi, for whatever you sent. I couldn't hear you. But that's good to know. There's overtones. And I guess that makes sense. I was getting those two tones, and one of them was really low. Maybe it was exactly three times as low. I didn't really pay attention to that. I guess I could just look at that graph that I put into the Hobo Sewed show notes. Everyone needs to check out last week's Hobo Sewed. It was a lot of fun. The one with the bell. And on Saturday, yesterday, I did another Hobo Sewed, which is available for everyone. It's Hobo Sewed number 170. I make every 10th Hobo Sewed available to the general public. And that one has this lady named Teresa in it, and it is just insane. I come at her with the microwave thing, and she knows everything about microwaves and is freaking out. She says they're killing her. It's like shooting her with a gun, beaming microwaves at her. It gets pretty intense. Be sure to listen to that one. It's on phonelosers.com, and I even put that one up on YouTube, so a lot of you have probably already heard it. I'm going to stop playing voicemails there. I've got some more to play still, but I'll do another show soon and get to the rest of these. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Thanks, everyone, for supporting the show. Those of you who are not afraid of me having your payment information anyway, like F in Reality and B.I. Eber for Life, Edward G., Carol Gertie 666 and JT, those are the sponsors of today's show. And if you'd like to be a sponsor, you can do that over at patreon.com slash phone losers. I promise Patreon does not send me a copy of your credit card number. They don't send me your PayPal login. Same thing on phonelosers.com. It's all handled through a third party, so I don't see any of the information. And it's a good thing because if I could, I would be just, you know, going on shopping sprees and flying around the country on everyone's credit card numbers. But these payment processors, they know better. They're not going to give me the information. Don't worry. I'm ending today's show with a song called Telephone Switches by a group called Telephone Switches. They have an entire album of this stuff over on Bandcamp at telephoneswitches.bandcamp.com. It's good stuff. Everyone should listen to this. But here is my favorite track from their new album. This one's called Telephone Switches. The requirements in these practices have been carefully developed so that switches will operate with a minimum of wear. this switch. Now I want you all to listen in while I talk on this telephone. Yo, I got the blue box, the new socks, the freaks call me switches. Network, berserk, megahertz, and the transmissions. I got this. Make the microphone port the hottest. Razzle Dazzle Fest will make the best of them feel. You know what? I think you better take uh, a pill and smoke another funny cigarette and shove it up your ass. Don't you ever call this number again.